everyone and welcome to my channel my name is KP you can call me whatever you want so I'm here today to tell you my favorite products of 2017 I have um, makeup makeup remover face masks um, hydration everything okay so I'm gonna start off by telling you what I use to prime my face I just started using this Primer, the Hangover by Too Faced, and I'm in love. I just do like squirts on my face. Has a great applicator, it's, you know. Smells great. Has coconut water, <clears throat> probiotic-based ingredients, whatever that is. It's great. So I like to keep all my makeup in this thing in my purse. I have a few concealers and you know, buxom plumping. Lip gloss. Um, so after I prime my whole face, I like to prime my eyelids with my favorite primer ever. It is the Milani Eye Primer. I've had this like maybe a year, almost two years. It's great. Just put a big glob. You're good to go. I mix it in with my fingertips. The heat in my finger warms it up really well. I'm watching Sweet Home Alabama. I guess I'll press pause because I don't need to watch that at this moment. My favorite under eye concealer is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And literally, it's so great. All you need is the tiniest little dab. Tiniest little dab, you know, boop, boop, boop. That's it. So easy, so simple. When I want to go ham on my concealer, I use something like this. This one's Wet n Wild. It says that it's cruelty free, blah blah blah. Another one is this one. And I'm I really like this one. But I'm starting to get a little tired of drugstore concealers. They like to crease, they like to show through my foundation. Maybe I want to try like a benefit concealer. I was gonna get shape tape, but I'm not really sure if I want to go that route yet. Another concealer that I have used like practically the whole thing is the NYX HD. It's very little product you get so you'll go through it fast makes you feel good though um foundation wise i like nyx drips drippity droppities it's just fun to do use this very cheap it's like 14 dollars. it's great um my favorite foundation would have to be the fenty beauty my color is a 140 no i'm sorry yeah 140 and I love the packaging. It feels great. I also love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. And mine is Warm Porcelain. I think it's a great product. I love Anastasia, anything. I've never used her brow products, but I hope to one day try them out. So another thing that I'm really into is my brows. And I never was into brows until like this year. I'm turning 27 this year. Happy 2018, yay! Okay, so my favorite brow product would be this one, the Brow Zing. My first ever brow product would be the, um, the dupe for this is e.l.f. And it's literally exactly the same, except this packaging is way cuter. But yeah, it's the same freaking thing. This is like $4. This is $30. So yeah. The colors are totally different. Maybe I didn't know my color. I don't know. But I definitely hit the motherfucking pan. And I love the little brush that it comes with. I use my normal brush though. Dropped it on the floor. Got a little chip in the powder. But the powder's so good. It's like I didn't even, never even used it. You know, like it's lasting a very long time. That's always great. Another brow product that I love is... This one by NYX, it's the Professional Preci Precision Brow. Has a cool little applicator, it's slanted and it's very skinny but also long at the same time. I don't understand that but it's, it's yeah, it's amazing. I love these little spoilies. All right, um, mascara. I'm really into this Lancome. It's like a French mm, some shit. Monsieur Big Lancome. It's really good. It's really big. 
You always get that huge clump of mascara gross, but I love how big it is. Gives me so much volume. Yeah, it's great. So after I go in with this shit, I love like detailing with this one. This one's L'Oreal Telescopic. You know, to get in there. Really helps you get that detailed. Get all, like every lash you can find, you know. Another amazing mascara that just got me so happy is the Tarte Gifted. It's great. I love this one. Um, I don't like waterproof mascara, so that's not what I'm into. Um, this is my favorite tattoo liner by Kat Von D. I just started using it my first time like this month. I got it for Christmas, Trooper Black. It's so easy to work with, so pigmented, so fun. Like, it's just great. And um, what I usually use is this one. I've been using it for years. It's like $3, wet and wild, and it's great. It's thick black. I just hate like when I'm tearing, it will just like literally wipe right off. So want to try a waterproof one that's, you know, going to stay on. I also always use this liquid liner. I think this one's L'Oreal. L'Oreal Liner Intense. It's really good. Um, another product that I'm obsessed with right now is this NYX Eyeliner. Fox Whites. I have no idea what that means, but it's an inner eye brightener, and it's literally this pink color. It's so nice. I'll show you how nice it is. Just wakes me right up. Like, look at the difference. This is my secret to a wide eye. Um, I'm obsessed with this lip primer by NYX. It's great. I just like, you know, go hard with this. It's e.l.f.'s lip exfoliator. It's just a ton of sugar and mint. And I rub that shit all over the place, cover it in the lip primer. It has a nice little scent in it. My favorite lip right now would have to be the Fenty Lip Stunna Paint. And I got the color Uncensored. Oh, yes. I guess I'll put it on. Okay. So smooth. Creamy. You would think that shape would be hard to apply, but I like it. It's easy. Okay, so another lip product that I'm obsessed with would have to be the Foxum. I have the color in Celeste. Celestial, some shit. I'm obsessed. It's nice and glittery and makes my lips pop. One application of this. That's all you need. So, uh, another thing that I got for Christmas would be oh, spilling it all over me. Oh, oh gosh. I am trying to learn how to apply glitter. It's hard. So hard. Oh my god. I need help. But I try, you know. So, I want to recommend these highlighters. This is my holy grail of highlightation. I love them. 
so pigmented, so shiny, so blindy. All right, on to powdering. I'm digging this one. Um, Raw Beauty Christy recommended this and it's great. You know, I just put it under my eyes and just call it a day. I also love this one. This one, it's just, you know, it's nice, pigmented. So a few more products that I love are this. This mask is great. I really love adding. Ooh. Okay. But yeah, I really love adding apple cider vinegar to this mask. It's fucking amazing. So good. I got it from like Whole Foods for like seven dollars. Um I love this product. It's Skin Food. The egg white pour hot steam pack. I rub it just like on my nose for like 10 minutes. Really hard. And then I got this one. It's the same brand. Skin Food. This one literally smells like strawberry. Like strawberry fruit roll up. It's like the weirdest fucking shit. I love it. I wish you could smell it. Can you smell it? Oh, it smells so good. Mm. The other one doesn't have any smell. So another face product that I love is this Holy Water by Mario Barisco. However you say his name. I'm just like, doo -doo. You know? So anyways, another product of his that I'm obsessed with is this motherfucker. You get that huge black, not black, that huge white head. You stick a little Q-tip, dab, bam. The next day, no more white head. It like sucks the white head out. This is amazing. This is how I remove my makeup with these little round things. You know, you just go hold it on there for like 10 seconds, start rubbing. Okay. I didn't really talk about like warm thinning up my face and how I like if I want to look a little warm and tannish, you know, I just go in with this tiny little hula thingy. It's amazing. Um, I just want to tell you some few things I did not like in 2017. This white eyeliner from NYX. Um, I applied it maybe five times to myself, and it's a me. It's nice, but like, uh, like an hour later, you like open and close your eyes, and there's like flaking. No, it can't flake, it can't like crease and fall off, like then I look like a crazy person. Which I like looking like, but fuck, I need a nice white liner. Um, this product is called Better Than Sex. Why did you call something that? This is not better than sex. It is not better than gifted. It is not better than L'Oreal. It is not better than Lancome. It is shit. It is like $25. Fucking put this shit on. Go to work. Start sweating. And I look in the mirror and it's all down my cheeks. Like, what? <laughs> Another product that I was just not really into is this NYX. It's like a concealer and a eyebrow pencil. It's whatever. Um, this is Max Dupe. To that rolly eyeliner. It's Revlon. And it's not good. It's fun though. It's fun. But it's not the best. Um, another thing. I tried the Essence Brow. Make em brow. Make me brow. Well yeah. It's make me brow because it has little hairs in it. And you're literally making a brow with product that has little hairs in it. It's just really weird. It was okay. It was okay. Um, I just want to show you some palettes that I got for Christmas because I'm a fucking brat and I had to get the best of the best. Um, I've never had this, never tried it, so I really needed it. And it was 20% off at Ulta, so you know your girl had to buy one for me, one for my best friend. So, oh my god, these two fucking colors. Vern Vermeer and... For Mavera, uh, amazing. Even this one's amazing. I just, if you can tell, I like white shit. But this one's amazing. Regal, real gar. I don't fucking know. 
they're just fucking great. Love letter is amazing. Fucking Vietnam, uh, Vietnam red. They're just so good. Raw orange, burnt orange, raw sienna, gold. I just can't even. They're just all so fucking great. Good ass palette. Brush sucks, but what can you do? So another palette that's amazing that I got for Christmas from my baby. He bought me the Just Peachy palette, all mattes. I love me some mattes. It's amazing. Every single color is just fucking great and smells up fucking so good. This Stunna Lip Paint gets on everything, so just be careful when you're smelling stuff with your face, you know? Yeah, so something else I got myself for Christmas is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I love it. I'm really into this whole carnival, Viana, amazing, sexy Islander look. Um, these colors are great. I bought this for the greens and the red. The only red one. Just put my whole finger in it. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. <coughs> So the next palette that I purchased myself for Christmas would be the Violet Voss Pro Ride or Die. I have been wanting this for a whole year, maybe even longer than a year. And I was just like, bitch, I am not spending $75 on a motherfucking palette. But your girl waited till Black Friday and she got the deal of a lifetime. It was so affordable look at this so glittery it's so nice and this one's matte down here i'm just so happy like when they say like oh i'll never need another palette like this is that palette that makes you say that even though i need more palettes so okay the next palette that i got for christmas is this morphe palette it was a gift for my favorite cousin ally and it's the Night Master 15N. I don't know what that means, but it's the Night Master from Morph. Morphe, whatever. It's so great. I really, really like this one. All right. Um, I just wanted to let you know my favorite, 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 favorite palette ever would have to be this horrible palette that everyone hates so very much that I'm just deeply in love with. I love the packaging. I wish I could kiss it, but I have lipstick all over my mouth. I love every color in this palette. I love all the yellows and the light peachy pinkies, and I'm just so happy with this. I'm so happy I bought it. I was like with a friend one day, and I was like, hey, which one should I get? Um, you know, subculture or modern renaissance and the girl's just like yo subculture's like so your style like get that shit and then i was like yeah and then i was like oh my god thank god i got this like fuck so another one of my holy grails that i always use 2017 my favorite palette is this it's from juvia's palace whatever place i don't know i love this green this blue this yellow this orange this purple i just love this one is like the best highlighter and look how big the fucking pans are huge such a good deal um this smashbox palette i had bought recently for the weekly wow it was like 20 bucks and then i saw it for 20 dollars at tj maxx so that is really good and the brush is okay this one's good because i just really love having a lot of mattes that are nude um this highlighting palette came with my violet boss ride or die and it's amazing especially since it was fucking free like a I guess I'll swatch one for you. Just one. Hmm. I'm not the best at swatching. I need better lighting. But to me, it's fucking great. I love it so much. Put a little do 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 do. You know. Alright, another one of my holy grails that I always reach for is the Venus palette from, oh, don't look at that, uh, Lime Crime. I love you, Lime Crime. Um, greatest palette ever is the Tartlet palette. I freaking hit pan, dude. Like, 
so good. I love, love, love. This is my first palette I ever bought. And I always use the brush still from this palette. I don't really use this palette, but I love this one. And just one more palette, you know, just for the hell of it. This crazy sparkly Urban Decay palette. And pretty much that's it. This is my, you know, this is my life. I fucking love makeup and I'm obsessed. Maybe I can show you some brushes I got. This is the case that my some of my brushes came in. They're Sephora brand and they're so good. I love Sephora brand. I don't know why. Their brushes are good. But it came with all these double-ended brushes that are so cute and they work so good. And it came with like an eyebrow brush so I can do my eyebrows all pretty. It came with more than this, but you know, you know. So another set of brushes that I'm obsessed are these Tarte ones. It was like a holiday set or some shit. I don't, I don't know, but so cute. And they work so well. I've never really had um, nice brushes ever. So one day I was like, you know what? I'm going to go and get some brushes. So I ordered some online and from BH Cosmetics. It was like a 16 brush set for $16 or some shit. So affordable to me. That is very affordable. Because that Sephora one I just showed you was maybe $49 for like six brushes. But that really cool case. So this one's from... BH Cosmetics, it came with this fucking alligator holographic case with these fucking amazing brushes. I'm so happy I bought this because I use them every day. It came with so many blending brushes. Like, the thing that they say is like, oh, you, you can never have enough blending brushes. You can never have enough blending brushes. You can never have enough blending brushes. You can never. Okay, so, and then I got this set. It's from Real Techniques. It's a good it's it's a good set, you know? Like these two are amazing. I don't really use a liner brush. And it has one more brush, but I don't really know. They're around here somewhere, hopefully. But yeah, I love real techniques. They're really good. And it was like a old it was like a old um package from like, you know, last season or some shit at Ross. And it came like, you know, three or four dollars. Like, what? Okay. But yeah, I will never stop using my um naked palette brush. Like I fucking love naked palette brushes. Like I think they sell them individually, like where you you know, like you can buy it when it's like if you lost it. Like you can buy that shit, but it's expensive. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my collection. This is one of my favorite face powders. The NYC smooth whatever. Loose powder, translucent. You cannot buy this anymore in America. What? Why? Why did you do that to me, NYC? So I had to buy it on Amazon. It's okay. You know, you just pay the little shipping fee. But it comes in your mail and you don't have to buy it at the store. Like, yay. So yeah. I hope you guys have an amazing new year. I have to start work again. I'm really excited. I had my week off. I went to Georgia, shot some guns, shot some fireworks. Hiked up a mountain, took amazing photos, had fucking a great time. So I hope you guys enjoy your day. Thanks for stopping by.